Hi, and welcome to Ohema Anji. This is my channel for first generation, um, low income people of color, looking for everything about education. I am actually very excited today because um, I will be starting a new series. I told you this page would be full with a lot of weird things um, where it's going to be um, I the a-hole, um, the thing on Reddit, so A-I-T-A, -A, um, but education edition, college edition. So without further ado, let's begin. So <clears throat> am I the a-hole for refusing to take three college exams because I felt underrepresented. Ooh. I am 19, am a college student in the US. Many other American college students know that right now is absolute grind season. This past week, I had four exams out of my six classes. The one problem, my appendix decided that now would be the best time to burst, causing me to miss the review classes for my exams. But not be in the hospital, it's not properly, but, but I will not be in the hospital on the actual exam dates. I thankfully am recovering well, but was so overwhelmed with the thought of doing these exams with less preparation than my peers, I basically settled to not take them when they were given. Only one of my four professors was willing to accommodate my life-threatening situation. Seriously, I was told that if I had waited to take the exams, then go to the ER, I would have died. I simply resulted, I guess I simply resolved, <laughs> to not taking an exam I was not prepared for. If and likely when the other three professors give me 0% for the exam, I am planning on going to the school and explaining that I was hospitalized and couldn't take the exams on the day they were given. My parents and friends think this is a stupid move and that I'm ultra ego obsessed and wasting my tuition, but I saw no alternative that ended well. I am, am I the a-hole? Okay, that was a rough read. <laughs> I forgot people, the grammar is not our best in this generation, is it? Um, okay, well, there's an edit. It says, this discussion made me think long and hard and I ended up taking two of the four exams on time today. One more tomorrow and the last one the day after. Every very little sleep and copious amount of Red Bull got me up to speed enough, but I don't have the grades back yet to determine if it's ultimately worth it. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Okay. So obviously it seems like they made up their mind to take it. Um, but were they the a-hole for originally refusing to take three college exams? Yes. And here's why I would say that, um, it's your money. <laughs> Yes, I do think the professor should have been more willing to work with them. Um, I don't think any of the professors would expect them to take their exam before they um, like got their surgery, but they clearly said they would be healed by the time of the exam. They just didn't feel like they'll be ready by then. This is when you go to professor's office hours. This is where you use your TA. This is where you ask other students so you can catch up on time and you're not left behind. Um, when it comes to college, you are responsible for your own education. Waiting for somebody else is not gonna work in that situation. So it is quite sad that they thought that it was maybe okay <laughs> um, to just skip exams. It's your money, you also pay, it's expensive. Listen, we've all been through exams that we we're not prepared for but you don't miss exams unless it's life-threatening and you were obviously recovered by the time there was the exam. So I'm happy they made up their mind to take the exam. Um, unless you're able to get those exams, excuse the exams. And then failing the class and then having to retake it, is that really worth it after spending a whole semester there? Um, but I understand if professors were unwilling to work with you, utilize TA, if they were unwilling to work with you with like getting you the resources you need, you report that, but I don't think you should miss the exam. So I'm happy they didn't miss the exam. Okay, on to the next one. 
my, uh, I believe they are non-binary, 21, okay, so they, um, and their parents, female, 54, um, father, male, 61, are Asian and very stereotypical in their views of tests. I just entered college after taking a year break following my tertiary education. I learned a long time ago that informing them of any sort of deadline, whether some small homework or test, will usually mean they get more anxious as the date creeps closer. They live vicariously through me, which is, which has only gotten worse since I've given up on art and entered into a somewhat academic field. I'm usually a very laid back person when it comes to assignments or tests, since for me, the more stressed I am, the worse I tend to do. This is something I realized about myself when I was in middle school. It doesn't matter how much studying I do, and I do a lot, if I get too stressed beforehand, I'm going to bomb it somehow. This might be a self-fulfilling prophecy, but this is more for my therapist to look into with me, LOL. <laughs> but no matter how many times I've drawn the similarities, done the studies, show them the conflicting results, they both don't listen. They'll start nagging at me and shouting at me. If they spot me even relaxing for one second, they'll start screaming that I don't care about my future and will become a garbage person and never be able to support them when they can't work anymore. I can't even spend more than five minutes in the toilet without them complaining that I take forever inside and would be better off preparing, quote unquote, for the assignment or test. It's not just infuriating, but it seriously affects my mentality. So since I've gone back to school recently, just finished my first semester, I stopped telling them about assignments or test dates and would only tell them after I've handed it in or done it. And guess what? I managed to get A's for almost every module I was given in my first semester. Maybe not super impressive since first semesters are supposed to be a bit easy, but still better than any result I have gotten before. But after my results came out, they both got together and realized I hadn't been telling them my assignments and test dates and started nagging me on the reason why. I asked a few of my friends and they said I should just lie and say I forgot because I'll be an unfilial, insert word, if I break their heart and say the truth but that will just be me that would just get me scolded so would i really be the a-hole if i told my parents the truth this is an interesting one i do not think you would be the a-hole for telling your parents the truth um i think a way to bring it up is you are in college having immigrant parents <laughs> myself who do, to a certain level, live through you. At least my mom will admit it. She's like, yeah, those degrees are mine. Uh, <laughs> but you're not the a-hole because it is not, how do I say this in the nicest way possible? You are growing up and you are an adult, 21 years old. Your parents are not supposed to be keeping tabs on you for every single assignment and test. The way you could say this that might get you not in less trouble, but then with immigrant parents, you never know, is that mom, dad, you have done a wonderful job raising me through high school and all of that. You made sure to remind me of exams, tests, and making sure I study. Now that I'm in college, I need to learn how to be responsible. So that means not having somebody else tell me to do it, but I do it. Because when I go out into my career, I won't have my mom there when I have deadlines. I won't have my mom there when I have, you know, certain things to meet to tell me, oh, you need to do this. You need to do this. So the reason why I didn't tell you was I wanted to be a responsible adult and be in charge of myself and make decisions for myself so that when I fail, I know it is my fault. When I succeed, I know it is through me and also the support that you have given me, right? So I love and appreciate all the support that you've given me because the last thing you want to do is to make them feel attacked. <laughs> and immigrant parents feel attacked, that's the end of the game. So you definitely need to just be like in college, 
they want very little parents input and everything but you're also learning how to be an adult and being in charge of your own future and you just need your parents to just like let you make those decisions and you know they see the results that you were able to get A's and you want to continue to be consistent right because you're learning to build habits so that's what I'll say but you're definitely not the a-ho yeah this is very uh common within um immigrant households so yeah thank you so very much for watching please make sure to like and subscribe because this allows me to keep going please give me followers <laughs> but outside of that this is also so more people can actually see this thing see some of the advice that i have i told you this is random ask questions let me know what you need because then i could bring videos and sources that will help everybody but at the end of the day Please remember to not be the a-ho of any story. Try to be as nice as possible. But please like, subscribe, leave a comment, share with everybody, and let me know what you like to see next. I have other videos that will be popping up in places, most likely. Um, please make sure to check those out. And um, keep supporting this channel. You have a wonderful day. Bye!